thing. Diet. Yeah. Yeah. It was so good. vegan? Well, not necessarily, but just more plants. Let's do, do it. Do you still want him? Do you want him facing this way? Yeah. Okay. Keep him facing that way. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. All right. So you're Panther Johnson in this again, or yep. some guy? Like, yeah. I just want the nerf gun to be like on your back, like, slung around. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> just there. I'm like, you don't even acknowledge it. Perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's part of me. You can barely see it. There, there, there. there. Yeah. <laughs> the other way might be better, like to your left. Cool. <laughs> Is it in frame? It's in frame, but it's like. <laughs> It's a little too far. There, there, there it is. That's perfect. That's good. All right, camera is rolling. <laughs> and action. So, Mr. Johnson, can you explain to me your name, your title, and what roles you played? Well, I'm Panther Johnson. I'm lead stunt coordinator for Metal Fist. Uh, I have, this is my 17th movie I've worked on doing extensive fight choreography. Uh, uh, swordmanship and just uh, general stunt coordination. Do you have any uh, expertise or speciality in the field of martial arts? Yeah, well, as I said, this is my 17th film. Uh, I actually trained at a dojo in Singapore. Uh, a couple of them, I, I went shopping around. Uh, but, you know, I, I have uh, 15 martial arts belts, uh, various colors and sizes and lengths. Interesting. Do you have any uh, expertise as far as working with actors and directors or do you stick to screen, do you stick to stage? Well I'm glad you asked that. Normally I do stunt choreography for dogs. This is my first human film. And it was a little bit more difficult than you might expect. Well, I mean, first of all, you don't have to, you can't use the newspaper to roll it up and bap them on the head when they did something wrong. And that was a difficult thing, because that's where I, that was my go-to, you see. So, well, um, on the other hand, though, it worked out really well because there was more two-way communication. It's hard to read a dog sometimes, and I feel it worked out pretty well. So what are the artistic differences between working with canines and working with humans? Well, one, they're not as confused by squirrels. That helped. Second, uh, just in terms of uh, the insurance, you can get away with it. getting humans to do a lot more than you can get away with dogs doing just for the insurance rate. So if I told these people throw themselves off a hill, I could not do that with a dog. Um. How did you become involved with this movie? Well, I went to Arizona State University, and uh, afterward, I went uh, job hunting like you do, and uh, I found my uh, the only job I could find in my uh, degree of study was at a dog shelter. And one day, I just got kind of fed up, and I wanted to get fired. So I just started throwing dogs out the window, and it it took a while before I realized I was making these dogs do something they could not do on their own, and so I thought it was my gift, and so then I immediately went to Hollywood, and uh, it was a little rough for a couple of years, but here I am. So what did you study at Arizona State? Photography. 